hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel this will be the seventh video of the entire series that i'm going to create for seam solution and in this video i'm going to talk about how exactly data correlation works now if you're watching this series from the beginning in the last video we have discussed about data normalization and indexing however in this particular video we are going to focus on data correlation now, when it comes to data correlation, it's one of the most important aspect of a seam solution. And this is something which is moreover related to security event management. Now, the reason behind that is because this is the stage where you will derive meaning out of your data that you have collected. Now, this is also a stage where you will perform threat analytics. Now, what do I mean by this? Before I go ahead and explain threat analytics, let me just clarify what is a threat because there are so many definitions everybody has a different understanding altogether from this playlist perspective i would like to keep it very simple in simplest way any activity which can be responsible for a damage can be termed as a threat now for example a malicious url from where malicious content can be downloaded on machines or endpoints of your enterprise is a threat and that's the reason why ips or urls or let's say specific endpoints they are defined as threat indicators in a ti solution where ti stands for threat intelligence now with this being said there will be a dedicated playlist for threat intelligence as well but as of now, just understand threat indicator is not threat intelligence. Threat indicator can be a specific IP or a specific URL altogether. Now, based on these threat details that are available in the wild, security solutions typically generate alerts. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say there is a file which is now signified or let's say which is now being verdicted as malicious. The moment that hash reaches the machine, there will be an alert which will be generated if at all that file exists on a machine. It is that simple. So a threat can be anything that can cause damage. The details, the specific details related to one simple entity altogether is a threat indicator. Okay. Now assume a scenario where from a user perspective, a brute force attempt has happened to his or her account and your identity solution generated an alert okay this alert has reached your sim solution and the SOC analyst is performing respective activities related to identity alert then the machine which the user is using was used to access a malicious content which is available on a malicious url and then some data exfiltration has happened now all the respective security solutions will generate an alert and this can be a low fidelity or a medium fidelity alert let's say from a solution standpoint but if i talk about overall security posture all these alerts should be combined into an incident i repeat this again all these alerts should be combined into an incident because this is a kind of high fidelity incident for you as an organization correct so from a data correlation standpoint the process of mapping related threat events into a single incident can be termed as data correl correlation now there can be different names associated with this process of data correlation however in most of the seam solutions this data correlation is done through rules in sentinel kql is used to perform analytics okay when you will use analytical rule it will ask you to give the kql query that you have written now based on the query you will get certain results now based on the thresholds that you have set you will get an alert right similarly in splunk you have spl correct so every solution will have their own naming convention to help you perform deep search and help you perform deep analytics now all this is possible because the data which has already been ingested into your sim solution you are just writing queries to combine one one or more events into a single incident now this rule that you are writing it can be a generic rule as well for example 
list out all the failed events for a specific account and if the count is more than five in five minutes let's say or if the count is more than five in one minute generate an alert this is just one of the examples that i'm giving you right now okay or there can be a process also where you are combining output from multiple data sources and generating alerts okay so the example that i was giving for powershell in my last video similarly you can have a combination from multiple data sources so let's say if there is any alert generated for an identity and in next 15 minutes there is also an endpoint alert associated with that identity then raise the severity of the case or let's say raise the severity of the incident or let's say combine these two alerts into one single incident and then give it let's say a high severity and i mean there could be n number of different scenarios but in a nutshell data correlation is the actual process where you will mine your data where you will work with data where you will derive meaning out of the data okay so this was all about knowing how data correlation works and what is the purpose of data correlation in the next video we are going to see how data enrichment works in seam solutions so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.